What's it like to live in Santa Clarita? What are the pros and cons of living in Santa Clarita? Stay tuned and let's find out. Hi, Kim here, Realtor in the Santa Clarita area. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to learn more about the Santa Clarita area, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell so you'll be notified every time I do a new video. We are getting calls, emails, and texts every day from people moving and relocating here to the Santa Clarita area, and we absolutely love it. If you're looking to buy or sell here in the Santa Clarita area, make sure you call, text, or email days, nights, or weekends, and we'll help you make your experience as smooth as possible. Now let's get started on the pros and cons of living in Santa Clarita. Let's start with the cons. Santa Clarita is an amazing place to live, but it does come with cons because we all know nothing is perfect. There are some commuter issues. Traffic volumes have increased slightly at, at high volume points like Calgrove Boulevard, Lyons Avenue, and McBean Parkway. In these areas, traffic flows have reached 195,000 to 205,000 cars per day, which if you've been wanting to catch up on a good audiobook, this would be a great time to do so. The average commute time for residents living in the Santa Clarita area is about 39 minutes each way. Now let's talk about environmental factors from population. While there is a correlation between population density and a higher quality of life, it is essential to call out the environmental stress on each individual. This is considered a con for environmental and stress, but it is a double-edged sword since there are social and economic benefits. Temperatures in the summer. Yes, it does get hot here in Santa Clarita. The temperatures are great most of the year. August is the hottest month for Santa Clarita with an average high temperature of 91 degrees, which ranks it as about average compared to other places in California. In Santa Clarita, there are five comfortable months with high temperatures in the range of 70 to 85 degrees. The most pleasant months of the year for Santa Clarita are May, October, and June. So most people do most of their outside activities in the morning before the temperature gets too hot and your summer electric bills are a little bit higher because the air conditioning is a must in the summertime in Santa Clarita. Let's talk about the cost of living in Santa Clarita. The cost of living index is higher than in other parts of the country. The cost of living index is based on the US average of 100. An amount below 100 means Santa Clarita is cheaper than the US average. The cost of living index above 100 means Santa Clarita is more expensive. The overall cost of living in Santa Clarita is 147.1. I've done a more detailed video about the cost of living in Santa Clarita. It has a lot of information, so be sure to check it out. Professional sports enthusiasts, you're out of luck. There are no major baseball, basketball, or football teams here in Santa Clarita. So to see professional teams, you're gonna to have to go to Los Angeles, Phoenix, San Diego, or Las Vegas, which are all in driving distance. And finally, the intensity of the sun. While Santa Clarita enjoys 280 days a year of sunshine, the sun does seem to take a toll on things like outdoor furniture, outdoor flowers, and paint on your home. And of course, always wear sunscreen and try to stay hydrated. Now let's take a look at some pros of living in Santa Clarita. Santa Clarita is a charming city in Los Angeles. It is close enough to LA to participate in trendy events and activities. A favorite destination for many looking for a fun yet relaxed place to live. Santa Clarita is called Awesome Town for a reason. Great schools, great people, and a very safe place to live. Tell us in the comments below what you like best about Santa Clarita. Pro number one. The weather, I know we said get, it does get hot here in the summer months, but most of the year the weather is fantastic. It makes outdoor living and activities possible, including golf, swimming, tennis, biking, hiking, and other outdoor activities. Pro number two, diversity. Santa Clarita has a reputation of being a very family-friendly community. Living in Santa Clarita has a dense urban feel and people work closely together. You'll find people from many different ethnic backgrounds here, and people are generally very happy because of the family-style atmosphere. If you don't feel like you fit in where you currently live, then you might really want to check out Santa Clarita and settle down here. Pro number three, the casual atmosphere Santa Clarita provides. A casual atmosphere that many people really enjoy. It's dry heat most of the time, and the weather stays consistently warm and pleasant, so the normal dress code here is usually casual. Pro number four, there's always something to do in Santa Clarita. Whether you want to enjoy a leisurely nature stroll with your kids or if you'd prefer to hike, 
with rewarding views, theme parks like Six Flags Magic Mountain and the Santa Clarita Aquatic Center. From great places to eat to numerous outdoor activities, this town offers something for both families and singles alike. It has great features that make it a highly enjoyable city. Pro number five, the top 25 healthiest cities in the U.S. That's right. A recent study from Wallet Hub found that Santa Clarita among the top 25 healthiest cities to live in. In Santa Clarita, you have the ability to go out in nature and get some exercise. We are not confined in a concrete community. Santa Clarita ranked 75th under the food category, which looked at fruit and vegetable consumption, healthy restaurants, and farmer's market per capita. Santa Clarita ranked 64 in the fitness section. The fitness section studies cities, share of adults who engage in physical activity, fitness, and instruction centers per capita, the average cost of fitness clubs, memberships, and intramural leagues per capita. And the best pro of living in Santa Clarita is our affordability. We touched on the cost of housing earlier, but Santa Clarita is about 3% less expensive than the overall California average cost of living. That means you can buy more houses or condos than you can in other California cities. Our less expensive cost of living leaves more money in your pocket and in an area with a higher quality of life. You just can't beat that. Our pros and cons are a feature of every living destination. The active lifestyle of Santa Clarita combined with the relatively low cost of living makes Santa Clarita an excellent place to live and raise a family or just visit. If you have any questions about the pros and cons of living in Santa Clarita, please let me know. If you are thinking of moving to the Santa Clarita area, buying or selling a home here, be sure to get in touch with me. I want to make your experience as smooth as possible. Now be sure to watch my next video on Santa Clarita.